Welcome back to Photography by Harrison. And what I'm going to be doing today, what I did yesterday and what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, I'm going to be testing out the FC-1002. I'm going to be putting it through its paces. You know, see how well it focuses not only in video, but how well and how sharp the pictures are in stills. Because if you're like me, yes, I do do a lot of video, but my first love is still pictures. So I want to see how well this camera does in stills. You know, because if you can remember, when I rented the FC2500, it did an excellent job in video. It was razor sharp in video, but all the stills and every focal length were a little soft. Now, that could have been the camera I had. It could have been effective. Maybe it had, had received all the latest firmware. But I've tried it every focal length in video and still, and the video was razor sharp, but the stills were not. So now I'm going to try the FC1002 because I've heard that it's supposed to be a little bit better actually in the stills department. So I'm going to take it out, put it through its paces, and also I'm going to show you the 4K crop, and I'm going to show you the HD crop, so you can decide for yourself, is that something you can live with? And also I'm going to show you the image stabilization, like you know it has five axis image stabilization in HD, but only two axis image stabilization in 4K. And being realistic, a lot of us are buying this camera for the 4K. Yes, I still shoot a lot of HD, but when I want to shoot the 4K, and I, and I might not have a tripod with me available. When I see a shot, I still want it to be steady. So we're also going to test that. And if you would notice the video I'm showing you today, at the end of the video, I had a, I have a different shirt on. Because, why? Because I actually did this stand-up yesterday, but I had it on autofocus. And you know how Panasonic can be sometimes with their autofocus. And if you ever watched a really great uh, YouTube channel, channel, Camel Conspiracies, he has like a thing where he calls it the Panasonic Pony of Focus pony of hope, which means sometimes the box can be locked rock solid on your, on your face. You think you're getting some great video. Then when you look at it again, you do have great video. But unfortunately, the only thing that's in focus will be the background. So that's why the stand-up I did yesterday, you will not see. Because that's why you see me a different shirt. Now, I might include it later when I talk about it, just to show you what I mean. When I thought it was in focus, it, the camera was focusing on me. Well, at least the focus box was on me, but the background was perfectly sharp, but I was not. So, and I know this is getting to be a long intro, so with that said, I will see you on the other side. This is 4K video handheld at 400 millimeters. Now, let's zoom in to see how sharp it is. There is only two axis image stabilization in 4K, not five axis stabilization that you get in HD video. But you are buying this camera for the 4K video, if you shoot video. This is the scene in the still mode in the camera. This is what the crop mode looks like in HD video. This is the scene in the 4K crop mode in the camera. Late evening low light is also a very good time to do a camera test. This is the scene shot in HD video. This is the same scene showing you the 4K crop. These next four pictures were all taken from the same distance. We're taken at 100 millimeters, 200 millimeters, 300 millimeters, and 400 millimeters. We're going to zoom in and see how sh the sharpness compares on all four. This is the world famous mural in Asheboro. And this is what it looks like in 4K crop, shooting at 35 millimeters. This is the same shot, shot in HD, just to show you the HD crop. And this is the way the shot looked in a still picture at 35 millimeters. For these four still shots, my focusing point was the number 12 on the engine at 400 millimeters. This is 300 millimeters. This is 200 millimeters. And this is 100 millimeters. And we're going to zoom in on all four to see how sharp, how well the 12 holds up. My lens is set at 70 millimeters. And this is the HD crop. And this is the 4K crop. And this is the same scene shot in the still picture at 70 millimeters. Well, what do you think? 
you're watching this on YouTube, go down to the comments below and let me know how you feel about this part one, which is going to be a three-part test. And also, while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button so you can get all my videos. And as always, if you like what you see, leave a thumbs up. But that encourages me to go out and do more videos. And if you don't like what you see, it's fine to leave a thumbs down. And just tell me why you don't like it. Because guess what? That will also encourage me to go out and do more videos so you will like it the next time. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. And I said it earlier, I'm always open to ideas and feedback and improvement. Because when you come to photography, no one knows it all. The more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. With that being said, I'll see you next time with another FC 1002 test.